Hey what's up everybody, it's Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome to their MX-8 TV Reflex Custom Track Gameplay and today we're going to be playing Spruce Bluff Snow Bike slash Snow Cross Track I think it's actually called Spruce Bluff Snow Cross by, I think this is a C4 Detonator Track I don't know why that's dropping from my mind right now but I'm 97% sure that that's the case Anyway, um, this is a very unique track in that it is somewhat sort of supposed to mimic what a snow cross track does when a snow sled rides on it. So because of that, there's not really very good defined ruts or anything in the corners. You can kind of see it's kind of all over the place. The traction itself is very slippery, uh, as you would expect on snow. And um, when you go through a corner and you try to dig out a rut or something like that, uh, it gets deep, like really deep, almost like this is a sand traction in Reflex. So it's kind of a unique aspect of it because he really did try to tackle it as if you're riding a snow sled on actual snow. Obviously you can't do that, so you have to ride a dirt bike, but you really don't end up getting as much traction as you think. You get kind of bogged down by how deep the snow is. Um, all the sections are built like you'd kind of expect to see them on a snow cross track where uh, there's not really any like rhythm to it. You kind of have to make your own rhythm. Um, yeah, in general, I just feel like this is kind of like a really cool idea. And when I initially thought or saw that he was going to do this when he was talking about on his Spruce Bluff, SX track, which we've also done a uh, gameplay on, so you can go ahead and watch that. I think I'll probably link it in the description. It's talking a little bit about how he was planning on expanding this open world map that he has created, which is really awesome. Um, it'd be cool if he does a free ride on this, because it looks like it's a pretty cool environment. Um, but he's planning on expanding to do exactly what this is right here, which is a snow cross track. I am completely stuck. Oh, don't get stuck. I'm just, what I am doing is really digging out this jump though, this is sweet. Next time I get to this jump, this is going to look ridiculous. There we go. <laughs> but he uh, talked about planning on doing this for a while, so this isn't anything new, I guess, um, because he had talked about doing it. But uh, it's cool to see it actually come to fruition and that we get to ride it and experience it and see what it's like. Um, Generally speaking, I don't think like the, wow, that was interesting. The average player may not enjoy this as much just because I feel like most people who want to pick up and play Reflex casually um, aren't looking for something that's kind of like a sort of dull track with not a lot of jumps to play. But otherwise, like this is kind of a cool experience, like I said, because there's nothing else like this in the game that mimics like snow and sleet and trying to get traction where there is none and all this cool other stuff that's part of this whole map. So that's why I like it. I mean, I think it's, that's part of the things that I really look for in a track, especially in a game that's starting to get as old as reflexes is that you want to find something that stands out and is unique. Of course, a really good, well-built track is still always fun to play and it's enjoyable, but when you come across an environment that um, nobody's done before or hasn't done as well necessarily and get a chance to play it and, and, and on top of that it's a completely different type of track that no one's ever built in the game, I think it, it constitutes a worthwhile play just to at least experience it and see what it's like. Um, I haven't played a good snow sled game in a long time. A snowmobile game that I last played was probably, I'm thinking it was Arctic Thunder, although I remember there was a game maybe not that long after it called like Snowcross Circuit or something like that. Um, this is all right around 2003 or 4 by my calculations or guesstimations. But uh, I'm kind of surprised we don't see more of them. Uh, I guess I'm not surprised, but I think it would be cool if we did see more of them because I think it's a genre that is less tackled that quite a lot, quite a lot of people do it. You know, if 
MX versus ATV, for example, decided, hey, let's just go ahead and make a snow map and use pretty similar physics to what we have for our motorcycles in games already and just instead model a snowmobile and have it do that. I think a lot of your uh, wintertime people that live in the northern USA or that perhaps live in the Scandinavian countries or just in general go ride um, snowmobiles during the winter time, I mean, especially with a guy like Larry Enticer making it as <laughs> kind of popular as it is lately to full-blown send it. Um, I don't know. I think they would tackle a good market audience for that, and I, I think it would be kind of a cool added experience. Like I said, I haven't even played a snow cross game or a snow sled game in um, a long time, and I, I would I'd kind of like to be able to play one again. I think it would be fun. But for now, this will suffice as our experience for the day. C4 Detonator obviously is very good when it comes to track making and building and environments and everything like that. He's been around this community forever, it seems like. Um, so no surprise here to see that the environment is top notch. It's really cool to think or to see him thinking outside the box. Um, there's still stuff going on in the Reflex community, which is always a good sign to see that people aren't letting this game die. It's a good game and obviously it's got a good steady fan base still because there's a lot of people that still cry bloody murder that MX vs. ATV isn't using reflex physics. Um, but you know, it's it's cool nonetheless to see it pop up and have another track to play and all this cool beans. But yeah, definitely at least try this track, you know, it's, an, it's, um, it's different call it that different so you may not like it you may think it's dull it's boring whatever but at least try it it doesn't hurt to try and it helps out the creators of this game feel like they're doing something for the community when people actually download their content so give it a go if you like it let us know in the comment section or what you do or don't like about it and uh yeah we'll see you guys in any upcoming videos we have but thanks for watching another video here on start your systems i'm kellen and i'll see you guys in the next one so long for now